Hello, welcome back to my channel, Savings with Stephanie. In today's video, we are going to go over how to resell your stockpile. If this is something that you're interested in, I would love to have you as part of my channel. It is free to subscribe. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button below, as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post videos like this or I post my coupon and hauls, which I do post weekly. That way you can be notified anytime I post those great deals and that you can take advantage of those. But in today's video, let's take advantage of reselling your stockpile. Reselling your stockpile is a great way to share the savings with your friends and family that we are getting in all of these items every single week. Each way that you can sell your stockpile may be different based on your region or what your goals are. I'm gonna go over what works for me and what I like to do. You might see different couponers do things differently and that is perfectly fine. You do what works best for you. But I'm gonna go over exactly how I put together my bundles, how I post those, how I work out the payments and how I get those to the people. So I'm gonna go over these items and exactly how it works for me. So let's get started on that. All right, so the first step that I do to start the stockpile sale is that I pull out everything in my stockpile. I pull it out and I organize it. I put together the laundry detergents, the fragrant beads, the softeners, toilet paper. I put everything out so I can see it. And then I make sure I put up enough stock for my family for at least two months. I wanna make sure that I keep enough stock on hand for me and my family. So once I pull out everything, I see exactly what I have, then I put up the stock that we will use or we need. And then I start to go through the items. So I'm gonna show you a huge mess right now. So this is what I mean. I pull out all of the stock, all the items. So I've already went through all of this. These are the items that I'm going to sell. This is all of the overflow items. And then the things that I'm gonna keep, I have left up there. So those are the items I'm gonna keep for my family. And everything you see here on the floor are items that I am going to put into bundles to sell. So that's the very first step that I do is to go through everything and decide what I wanna keep and what I wanna sell in my stockpile sale. And because I do a stockpile sale once a month, my inventory doesn't get out of hand crazy. This is just one month's worth right here. If I did this once a quarter, it would be very overwhelming for me because I would have probably triple the amount of this. So because I do this once a month, it's a smaller amount that I can do. So that's the reason I like to do mine once a month. All right, the next step is I put the groupings together and I take pictures of them so that I can post them on Facebook. I try to put groups together of items that are gonna retail for about $20. And each bundle that I put together is, I sell for $10 a bundle. So for an example, I have this Tide right here. This Tide is normal for $17.99. We always get those on sale at CVS. So I would take one picture of that and I'll sell that as one bundle for $10. I scan each item if I'm not sure to the price on the Walmart app, just to see what the retail price is so I can put the bundles together. The reason I like to do a smaller bundle is because I would like to put together smaller quantity of items. Otherwise, I would be putting together things and people would want to swap out and say, well, instead of the Tide, can I do the game? So I'll put together a smaller bundle that may only have three or four items in each bundle. That way a person can get the items that they want or they need and they're not wanting me to swap out the items as much. So let's start putting together some of these bundles. pictures of your bundles. Make sure that when you take a picture of your bundle that you have a nice clean area. I try to take the pictures right here on this cabinet. So it's a clean background and it's a clean area. If you take the pictures on the floor or in a garage floor where there's a lot of background, it just doesn't look very nice and neat. So try to take them in a clean area. I also try to make sure that you can see each one of the products clearly. 
so that when the person is looking at it, they can see exactly the item that they're getting as well as the quantity of the item or the size of it. So they know are they getting a small bottle of laundry detergent or it's a large bottle of laundry detergent. So I try to get as close as I can to that picture or zoom in so that they can see exactly the size and the quantity of the product. It just helps so you have less questions going back and forth when people are looking at your photos. All right, I am done taking the pictures. I took a total of 40 pictures. So that was 40 bundles that I'm gonna be posting for this month. And yes, I am coming from to you now, sitting on the floor, cause that's where all the bundles ended up by the time I got done taking all the pictures. So the next step is I am going to post these on Facebook. So I show an example right here of how I post this on Facebook. I do post all the pictures and I post that this is the coupon and haul for the month. This is the month of May, so I put my May stockpile sale. And I do put on there that each bundle is $10. It should be around $20 worth of retail value. And please let me know how you plan on paying and how you plan on picking up. Does anyone tell me how? Normally not. However, I normally do have repeat customers every single month, and I know how they normally are gonna pay me and how they're gonna pick up. So I post that on Facebook. And again, since I post that on my personal Facebook, everyone who buys from me is friends or family. So I know everyone. I'm not selling to strangers. I'm not selling to someone that I'm going to have to meet. At one time, I used to set up a meeting spot. I would say, I'm going to meet you in the parking lot at the mall at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Well, I was only having one or two people take advantage of that. So it wasn't working out. It wasn't worth my time. So I quit offering that. So I'll post it on there. People will go through the pictures and they'll comment that they will want the bundle. I will take an old fashioned sheet of paper and I will literally write down the person's name and how many bundles that they want. So I know exactly how much they owe me. And then I'll send them a text message and say, I have you down for four bundles for a total of $40. Let me know how you plan to pick this up. They'll come back and tell me. Normally, I'll either do a front porch pickup or I'll drop it off if they live close by me or if I'm going by their place of business or their home. Most of the time, people either pay me in cash or they'll send me money on Venmo, whichever one they prefer to do. And I also give them a time limit of a week. If they don't have the items picked up in a week, I normally would go to the second person who has commented that they want the item. When someone comments that they want an item and I mark it down, the next thing I do is I recycle all these bags that we get when we keep on. So one person was wanting this bundle that I put together right here for the razor and the deodorant. So I put that in the bag. I put a sticky note with that person's name on it in the bag. And then I push that over to the side and I keep all the items together. Once they've paid, I do check off that they've paid, and once they picked up, I check off that they have picked up so I know and can keep track. And that's basically all that I do each month for our stockpile sale. Doing the stockpile sale helps me to make sure that I am recycling the items, I'm keeping them even, and not only am I making a little extra money, I'm helping lower in my cost of my household budget items for our home, and I'm sharing in these savings for my friends and family. So they're actually getting benefits of all these items as well. So it was a win-win for everybody. I hope that you guys find this helpful. And again, this is the way it works best for me. I might change this or grow or involve this as time goes on, but right now this has really been working, so this is the way that I'm going to continue to do it. Post down in the comments below ways that you might do your stockpile sales or ways that have worked for you so others can find some information that they might find useful. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you have gotten some great tips and tricks on how you can recycle or resell your stockpile for some extra income. I hope everyone has a great day.